The Harper government is reviewing a program that sends new federal employees to Ottawa for an orientation course. Some call the course a boondoggle at taxpayers' expense. Others believe it's the only way to keep top candidates from leaving the public service. CTV's Joanne Schneer reports. A friendly game of noon hour volleyball. This is how public servants relax. But how they work, how government works, is the subject of a two day course open to all new public servants. The Canada School of Public Service oversees the program, introducing the Egg Canada clerk from Regina, the fisheries researcher from the East Coast, to parliamentarians, immersing them in the workings of government. The $716 course is an initiative of the former Liberal government. I don't think that's too high a price to pay if this will help them commit as well over the longer term to the public service of Canada. Some public servants think it's a great idea. I think it gives you a sense more of the importance of what the government's doing, you know, not just Ottawa. I think not enough uh, Canadians in general, not just public servants, understand the, the way uh, the process of government and the way laws are passed and so forth, so I think it's a great idea. But the Canadian Taxpayers Federation calls the course a two-day junket that needs to be junked. It's not expected that NASA would send every employee to the moon, so we think this is kind of a flawed program that is going to waste taxpayers money and and it's not going to retain quality employees and we think it's a silly waste of money. The Treasury Board which oversees the program is reviewing the public service school and in particular the orientation course. The minister John Baird refused comment. So far about 400 employees have already gone through the program since it started earlier this spring but their days may be numbered. The Treasury Board hopes to complete its review of the program by August or September. Joanne Schner, CTV News.